Hello YouTube, this is Stefan aka Dutch Bushcraft. I'm going to do a quick video about the difference between the clove hitch and the constrictor knot because there is a difference. Okay, let's first start with the clove hitch. It's called a hitch because it's easy to untie. That's uh, a big uh, issue in this video. So you take your long end here, a shorter end here, and we're going to tie a clove hitch. You make a cross on top, like this. But you stay on the same side of the long end, and you cross it through the <coughs> through the cross that you made. And there you have your clove hitch. Now it's called a clove hitch because it's uh, it will easily be undone just by manipulating. This will release some of the tension in the hitch, and then you will be able to uh, retrieve your your rope. This is also why we use it in climbing. So for instance, let's say this is your belay point. So I have this one rope, this is my repelling rope. I clip it in and with just one hand I make a loop, clip it in again and this is your clove hitch. And I can repel on this side or this side, it doesn't matter. We can, there can be two people repelling each on one side. And after this is done, still, by manipulating the rope a bit, it's easily undone. This is why we use the clove hitch in climbing. So again, you just clip it in and just because this, this might be above your head somewhere so and you are holding yourself so you only have one hand take it twist it put it back in and there you have your clove hitch okay back to the wood the constrictor the constrictor is called a nut because it's stronger but it's way more difficult to untie, that, that's the main reason. Again, this is the long end, the short end. You make the cross, like you did with the clove hitch. But now you come from the other side of the long end and through the middle. And this is the constrictor knot. It looks quite similar, but it is not. The one is called a hitch because it's easy to release. The other one is called a knot because it's way more difficult to release. Especially when using uh, in climbing, for instance, when there's a lot of force on the ropes or in wet conditions like raft building, something like this. So I recommend only using this with rope that you can get rid of and it doesn't matter if you have to cut it because you can't release it anymore. So, and as you can see this, this is also already difficult for me to untie. But I will try to show you just again. Because it's such, such a minor difference, but it, it's a lot of difference in the in the use and appliance of the of the tool. Clove hitch, staying on the same side as you made the crossover. Very easy to untie. Constrictor. Because this is the only difference, one and two. 
coming from the other side and through the same cross and there you have the constrictor and this one is a lot a lot more difficult to untie and just imagine when this when there's a, a man hanging from this rope this will really tighten this knot and that's why it's called a knot or in wet conditions when you pull the rope so there is a difference okay i hope you enjoyed and you know the difference between the clove hitch and the constructor knot take care bye bye